to each of you but welcome back to the channel in this video i'm gonna be talking about having your saturn in your partner's seventh house in sinistry with having saturn in your partner's seventh house in astrology, this can make for a relationship that has very much of a focus around commitments and both of the partners can really take commitment very seriously with this relationship. But with Saturn coming into the seventh house, this is going to also bring a sense of some kind of challenges in the relationship around commitment and also a lot of strengths at the same time with having Saturn in the seventh house. It can be this very responsible, very mature kind of undertone to the relationship. And the Saturn person could even be older or more mature as far as their age than the seventh house person in this relationship. And they bring them a lot of lessons that the seventh house person gains from the Saturn person, especially when it comes to relationships and when it comes to partnerships and working together, they can learn a lot from Saturn person when it comes to those challenges that can come up. And even though this relationship can have both of the partners really taking the commitment part of this relationship quite seriously, when it comes to the challenges that can come up, it can be around how there can even be a bit of a heaviness when it comes to this relationship, especially around relationships and feeling like the relationship is very much of an obligation or there's just this strong sense of responsibility towards the relationship from both of the partners and it can bring this heavy um heaviness to the relationship or this feeling of high expectations especially from the saturn person in this relationship but there's this feeling of the relationship being like a responsibility and work it can be very slow to develop um with one of the partners it's most likely the Saturn person kind of being in resistance um, to the developing of the relationship at a fast rate uh, quickly or even them just setting really high expectations and the Saturn person can have really high expectations around the idea of the relationship and generally there's this feeling of really learning a lot from the relationship and for the seventh house person and the saturn person there could be this need to balance out really this seriousness around the relationship and being able to also have the sense of fun in the relationship too so that it doesn't feel like there's that heaviness that's really taking the front seats in what's really developing and progressing this relationship which could be hard to do because the relationship can't even feel like it is an additional or an added Kind of responsibility to both of the partners' lives. It could be that it comes in at a time where it's adding a lot more or it's it's requiring a lot more from both of the partners. And especially the Saturn person could kind of resist or be the one to give some pushback in this relationship. And it can just feel a bit challenging for that reason, even though the Saturn person has seventh house person's back in the sense that they're very cautious in a way that they are going to be able to help the seventh house person be more careful and responsible. And that can be very beneficial too. In this relationship, there's really going to be the sense that they are both going to grow together. And the Saturn person really wants to see the seventh house person grow and even though they have high expectations or their expectations of the seventh house person and this relationship can be somewhat of a burden, they want to be able to see that sense of growth of the relationship and any of the challenges that do come up, they grow through together. And this synastry can show a potential for a very long lasting relationship and also a very strong one because especially if there's this willingness to put in the hard work from both of the partners. The way in which they handle everything, and even intimacy can be very respectful and can be very responsible and it can be quite healthy 
they can have very healthy boundaries in their relationship and have a respect for each other's boundaries and it can feel like a very beautiful kind of a commitment to the relationship from both partners even though it can also have the sense of being very heavy or obligatory for both of the partners when it comes to this how seriously they take their relationship the dedication can make for a very healthy long-lasting solid foundation in the relationship for both of them and yes the relationship can feel like it is quite a learning process especially for the seventh house person when dealing with the saturn person but it can also feel like it comes with a lot of tests and that can be the challenging part of this relationship but it does strengthen the relationship between the two partners to be able to go through those together and grow through those which is what this placement really brings is that opportunity to grow through challenges together in the relationship and learn lessons around relationships and partnerships and to put in effort. Well, that does it for this video on having your Saturn in your partner's seventh house in Sin Street. Thank you so much for watching. If you liked the video, please be sure to give it a like and subscribe to this channel for more videos. That is where I love and leave you. Thank you so much for watching. I'll catch you in the next video. Bye guys.